Hi, I'm Miss Carol from the Broadhead Public Library. Our theme for this summer is Tales and Tales. It's a new week and a new animal. So here are some clues for this week's animal. This is an adorable animal that is part of the rodent family. But let me repeat, it, it really is adorable. Its name makes us think it's part of the pig family but their hair comes in many colors, brown, red, tan, and white. The hair can be short or long. Plus, their hair might have splotches and spots. Now, I think you're gonna really like this cute little critter. Are you ready for Oliver's Animal Adventures? Kid. And we're playing Animal Safari! Um, what animal do you got for us today, Animal Kid? I'll give you a hint. These animals are native to South America and come in many different colors. Hmm. Is it, is it a parrot? Nope, it's not a parrot. types of guinea pigs. Some have long hair, some have curly hair, and there are even some that don't have any hair at all. So how big do guinea pigs get? This is a full grown guinea pig. They usually weigh about two or three pounds. Yeah, she, she really seems to like carrots. Yeah. Guinea pigs are vegetarians. They eat fruit, vegetables, and hay. Some people keep guinea pigs as pets. The domestication of guinea pigs is believed to have occurred from 4,000 to 7,000 years ago. Guinea pigs are herd animals and do best when they live with pairs or groups. Guinea pigs cannot manufacture vitamin C, so they enjoy eating fruits and vegetables high in vitamin C, like oranges, kale, green and red peppers, broccoli, and tomatoes. about their teeth is that they grow continuously, which means they must always have something to gnaw on. Like carrots! Yeah. Do they live in burrows? They sometimes dig their own burrows, but most of the time they just use a burrow that another animal abandoned. Take a look at her feet, Oliver. Guinea pigs have four toes on their front feet, but only three on their back ones. These are good for tunneling and burrowing. So, are they related to pigs? No, actually they're related to rodents. But they do make a squeaking sound that sounds like a pig sometimes. Listen. Something else they do when they're happy is called popcorning. A popcorning guinea pig will jump straight into the air without warning. They may resemble a bucking bronco twisting and kicking out their legs in the air. So, what you're saying is... If guinea pigs were big enough to ride, all we'd have to do is make them really happy! And you could have the best rodeo ever! Popcorn! 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 Yeah! Woohoo! Well, what would you do to make her 
is that happening? Oh, oh, oh! I, 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 would, I would give her lots of food, and then she would eat it all up like a little piggy. Supper's ready. Come eat. Hey, animal kid, let's eat like a pig. Like a guinea pig. Yeah! Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Keep reading, everybody!